Hello, this is 3DX and in today's video I'm going to be creating a stylized looking uh, broken wall type of thing. I'm going to start out by using the cells 4 node and along with an edge detect. Uh, the reason I'm going to do this is because I want to get some rocks that are going to be essentially coming through the uh, wall material. Um, the wall material is supposed to be, I guess, somewhat like a plaster type uh, material. That has just degraded over time um, but since this is a stylized material I want to keep it somewhat clean and now for the rocks that are supposed to come through I'm going to use a flop fill and uh, from there I'm going to use a flop fill to gradient and kind of combine those two or more than two just to get more of a um, more like a separation between the uh, flatness of the rocks or stones these are supposed to be just like stacked stones and for that I'm also going to use a distance node along with the warp just so that there's a little bit more variation and uh, these are going to be my essentially stacked uh, rocks that are making uh, the wall here and obviously I merged together some uh, plot fill gradients so that there's a little bit more variation um, on the shapes and they're not completely flat and I think this is a good way to make uh, stacked stones obviously you can continue to you not know, add more variation to this but in this case I decided to keep it somewhat simple and relatively clean And this is essentially how the wall is essentially being put together. It was just put together with some stacked stones. I also tried um, making it look like more like the stacked stones had maybe uh, something like cement across them. Um, so more separation between the stones, but I decided to go with a more uh, stacked uh, look. And then for the actual, I guess, plaster, or wall section. I went with some noises here in the with Designer and I'm going to merge, I'm going to combine those with the actual rocks. Now the one thing I did not like um, right off the bat was that the uh, noise that I'm using here is a little bit too noisy and since this is a stylized uh, material I usually try to not keep it so that it's too noisy, I try to keep it somewhat clean. So I tried a few different um, notes that come with the, some grunge notes that come with designer, just to see which ones gave some relatively nice results. But in the end I did have to clean those up a little bit because they were just a little bit too, too noisy. So I had to try a few different things here in order to get the look that I was going for. And even in the end, I think it did end up looking just slightly noisier than I would have liked. I think if I had to go back to this material, I would probably clean it up a little bit more. So sometimes you have to combine different materials as well just to get different uh, looks. I mean combine different notes. So I did do a lot of... Uh, I was experimenting a lot on this one, especially on the... What's supposed to be, I guess, plaster. Or maybe it's just old cement or something like that. And then for the color map, I decided to use a curvature smooth from a normal map and then used a gradient from there and just applied a few different colors for the stones first. Now I did try to keep it relatively clean.
and then I used another uh, gradient for the actual wall and I wanted to give this a little bit of color as well I also decided to use a gradient here for just to make some of the stones a little bit darker than others just to add a little bit more variation between those and so that some of these are actually darker than others it kind of helps to add more variation to the actual stones so that they're not all the same color and the same um, same uh, shade of a color and I also decided to blur the uh, wall material a little bit just because I thought it was just looking just a little bit too noisy Then the last thing I did was obviously add the uh, roughness. Uh, in this case, I wanted the stones to be slightly more shinier than the actual uh, wall or stucco material. You usually want to keep the uh, roughness a little bit uh, different for each material that's supposed to be represented in your texture. So that's kind of what I went with here. And another thing I did, I wanted to add a little bit of um, color variation around some of those, uh, the stones here. The ones that come through the actual stucco material. Just so that it looks more like there's, um, there's more weathering. And then I also used a slope blur on the actual stucco material just so that it looks more like uh, it has more like cracks and stuff like that. Now I do think it's starting to look um, not uh, stylized so if I had to change something I would probably spend a little bit more time on that uh, part and just making sure that it looks more stylized and not too noisy or that it has too many micro details. That's probably something I would change about this material. And then I was just kind of playing around with the height just to see if it looked better with the stone kind of coming through the stucco material or if it looked better the other way. So it's always good to just experiment a little bit with these materials. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this one. If you are new to the channel, I recommend you sub to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one. There's also a um, a playlist uh, with a lot of Substance Designer videos that I made over the last few years. So if you want to check that out, check that in the channel. And uh, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. And I hopefully see you in a future video. Do you want to learn how to use Substance Designer to create interesting materials which you can use to apply to things like environments or props? Well, in this Intro to Substance Designer tutorial, Anthony Carmona will walk you through the process on how to get started in making materials in Substance Designer. Click on the link below now to start learning how this is done. Anthony will start you off by explaining the theory behind physically based rendering and from there he will show you the ropes to get started with the most useful notes found within Substance Designer. This is a perfect tutorial for anyone who is new to Substance and would like to learn how to get started. This tutorial also includes a bonus lesson where Anthony will show you how to present a material through lighting and rendering using Marmoset Toolbag. Hey, so this is a very short video ad, so there's not enough time to cover everything. Click on the link in the description now to get started.